Welcome back to the Views Garage. Uh, right next to me, I have my 1967 Datsun pickup. So first thing we're going to work on is the front suspension. Um, these normally come with um, kingpin spindles and drum brakes. So I'm going to try to do a little upgrade and maybe go with um, disc brakes and regular spindle. So I, I removed the lower control arm from the Datsun and I mocked up the lower control arm from the Toyota and it actually fits perfect. Just need some spacers in there. Even the sway bar link matches to the Toyota. Let me show you the spacers. So, right in there, just need to get some spacers in there, so center this thing. But other than that, perfect fit. So now that we have pretty much everything removed, um, I'm just going to go ahead and take out the old bushing in the lower control arm. Uh, pretty much needs replacing. Let me show you what, I, what I'm going to use. <clears throat> so I have here is a one and one eight hole saw, which I'm going to use to drill out the rubber bushing. And then I'm going to use this to try to cut out the metal bushing that's inside there. Uh, I'll show you the process. go easy peasy so I use the hacksaw to cut through the metal sleeve and actually made it easier to pop out it only looks like that because I thought I cut through it, but I didn't to the very last minute. Then it actually just slipped out. <clears throat> That's how it looks. Just need to clean it up. Okay, good to go. So this is where I'm at so far. I removed the old bushing from the lower control arm. Uh, took out that metal sleeve that was in there only problem is I shouldn't have taken it out and I'll show you why so I ordered this energy suspension bushing kit as the part number and everything it came with a whole bunch of bushings and some metal sleeves or whatever which I thought this piece that goes in let me show you that goes in there will fit. But it's too small. So what I found out is this is a stock wishing. So when you remove this rubber bushing from this metal sleeve right here, this bushing actually fits inside. So this is what I got. So I did it, I removed the bushing, the rubber bushing from this metal sleeve, which is that metal sleeve. And the bushing, which is this bushing, fits perfectly inside this, where this piece goes inside the lower control arm. But this is a mock-up. I used some 5.8 washers from, you know, 
local hardware store and I'm using the stock bolt that goes in the Toyota little control arm and it actually fits pretty good snug and perfect and everything looks like so if I was to do it again I wouldn't take out this middle sleeve that's originally inside the lower control arm I just cut out the bushing this bushing take this center piece out all you need actually just need some washers these four washers to the side inserted the bushing this bushing onto the original sleeve and you're done that's perfect so this is the process I'm going to I'm using this one on one need also and I'm just cutting out that rubber bushing that inner sleeve there clean it out so the energy suspension bushing will fit in there I'll show you the outcome Just need to go in and clean out all that excess rubber that's in there and should be good to go and there you have it it doesn't have to be perfect just enough for the rubber bushing to fit in there if it's perfect slides in Now, I think the hardest part is going to be trying to get this sleeve inside the low control arm mount. So, to be continued. Okay, so here you can see I put on that stock sleeve from the stock bushing that I cut out earlier, um, which will give me the spacing I need to fit these energy suspension bushing. Now it's more snug and perfect. So here's the finished product and as you can see I have two washers and then the uh, energy suspension bushing everything fits perfect it's a lot of clearance rotation it's, it's good no binding, no nothing. Perfect movement, rotation, whatever. And that's it. Works just fine. So that is where we are right now with the Datsun 521 front suspension upgrade. Um, this is also a five look conversion, but the lower control arm conversion should work with Datsun 620 kingpin. Um, possibly the 620 disc and 720 since the lower control arm bushing and sleeve are pretty much the same uh, diameter and length if I'm not mistaken um, but the next video will most likely be 
upper control arm and coil over conversion as soon as we start getting parts in for that hopefully in the next week or two uh, we can get that video going and get it out to you guys uh, please like comment and, and subscribe uh, it'll help us out a lot stay tuned and thanks for watching